What's up guys and welcome back to another Workflow Wednesday and today we're going to be talking about speed ramping. If you haven't done so already make sure you go check out the other videos that I've posted up about like editing to the beat and stuff like that and this is going to be one of those times where you're going to want to take notes a little bit probably save this one and share it with anyone that's going to find any sort of value out of it. But anyways smash that subscribe button and like and let's head right to it. So speed ramping is one of those things that's going to really just up your game a lot and without wasting any of y'all's time I'm going to show you exactly what I did uh, for a couple of these little clips in that sequence that you just saw. So I got one, two, three, four. Double click. And as you can tell there's an in-camera transition in-camera transition whenever I go into something dark and then if I double click here you can see leaving something dark you know what I'm saying coming out of something dark be it the hoodie so that's gonna make your speed ramping look extra buttery smooth so anyways here we go so I'm gonna go double click and for the sake of this, I'm going to set an end point there and an out point right whenever we get to the darkness of the hoodie. Too easy. Drag video only. Scroll over using the wheel. And then here's another one. Obviously, this is going to be our end point. And then we can make the out point over here too easy so this is going to be my end point we come into Ponce de Leon right there out point and go ahead and drag it over and then double click the grip tape see what, I, you see what I'm doing there Obviously, you don't want this white shoe showing, so I'm going to go back to right here, right whenever you can't see it, and then there goes trend skating off. Alright, bring that over here, butt it up, so we have two sequences, good times. Now, this is going to be really quick, I'm going to drag that down and then back up and that just pretty much gives us enough space to actually see what we're doing right so coming over here I'm gonna watch the program uh, program monitor up here we're gonna go right over here to the cut now personally whenever I started seeing the camera like my phone and everything else, whenever I started seeing that come into frame, that to me, I want to kind of hide that as much as possible. So it's coming into frame right here. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard. Give me a little marker so I have an idea. And then obviously it's coming out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit him again. And that pretty much just lets me know where I'm at. So, 
we're going to hit the FX tab with a right click, time remapping and speed, which is awesome. Now let's hit P on the keyboard, go right here to this marker, plop right on the timeline. Come over here to this marker. Hit V on the keyboard. Time remapping speed. P again. There's our point. Now, here's the fun part. Hit V again. Now, you see this little line here? This is now our speed. So I'm just going to click and hold, and then we're just going to drag it up. I'm shooting at 120 frames per second, so we're gonna go all the way on up to, let's go for 500. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. All the way up to 500. A thousand will make it look a little bit better. All right, hit V. Drag this over. And now what we can do, actually, let me go ahead and do this real quick. We're going to scale to frame size, that, that's better. Because that was recorded in 1080 um, at 120 because it's on the 12 Pro Max. That's what, and this is what that's looking right so far. So already it looks really good, but it's pretty harsh, right? You see that transition, in camera transition. And that is effectively your speed ramp. Now, here's the fun part. If you come over here to these little cursors, now you can just drag that out. You're just gonna kind of stretch it. And if you click in the middle, you get these little handlebars. So you find one of these little handlebars, just turn it over. And what you're doing is you're kind of smoothing that transition out. You can drag it out further so the transition starts sooner. Just to however you want it to look. I like it kind of smooth like this. Personally, I like to line up the blue bars with the white line. Right? So let's go ahead and scroll over. Do the same thing over here. Well. drag it back onto it here we are I'm gonna expand that out a little bit see the handle but there we go and we're gonna just uh, adjust our handlebars again so it's got a nice little bell curve to it, right? And now you can definitely see the difference. And there's your speed ramp. You go from one more time. And that's 500 times, right? So effectively, I think that this one's gonna look a lot better if we bring it all the way up to like, we're gonna try a thousand. Yeah, let's go for a thousand. See what happens. See the number there on the bottom going up as a drag. Both of them are at a thousand. Put them together so we can see it. Let's try that again. That looks a lot better, right? So, let's go over to the other one. What's done is done, right? That's good times. So, again, here, time remapping, speed. And then, same over here. Time remapping, speed. I'm gonna go back over to this spot. Actually, remember, we're going to set 
to frame size. That's right. So we're going here. Using rule of thirds, this is in focus now. So I'm going to hit M on the keyboard. A little mark. And then I messed up and caught this little string into the shot. So I'm gonna to try to mat I'm gonna to try to blend that out a little bit as much as possible. So I'll be here and then hit another M. So that's another mark. Alright, here we go. So I got a marker here. Don't need hit P for the pen tool. V bring it up all the way up all the way up all the way up I'm gonna do a thousand again hit P right there you see what I did there right I just clicked the little marker and it bring the Brings the playhead where I need it to. So I'm back over to this line. Bring it all the way up. I'm just dragging. That's all I'm doing right now. To a thousand. Butt those together. Hitting Command Plus on your keyboard will let you do that, but now I'm going to go over here to these little markers. I'm going to spread that out some. Click in the middle, that gives us the handlebars. Just lets us smooth it out. I'm scrolling back over, and I kind of like doing these edits in real time with you guys. So you can see the same frustrations I go through real time not really too frustrating but I mean it is what it is kind of adjust that here we are I expanded it out a little bit too much but anyways so here we go here's our second one bam and there we go and we're back to slow-mo so there you have it. Now, I'm gonna shrink those down a little bit. Got them both together. Makes it pretty exciting. And this is what the whole sequence would look like. Just like that. I know this is a quick video guys I went ahead and stopped it and uh, but yeah that's our quick little crash course for workflow Wednesday on speed ramp transition remember a lot of your work is going to be in camera from what we went over into something dark and then out of something dark or similar textures really because it's not as dark as grip tape but the textures are pretty similar and so it works Now what's really fun is whenever you do like I did in the uh, in the intro itself, is work these little speed ramp transitions in with the beat. That adds like a nice little style and flair to your videos. Help keep that audience engaged, keep your retention time up. But like I said, here we go, a thousand times, bam. Cut over again, bam. And life is good guys. So anyways, I'm going to stop the screen recording now. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's what we got going on. Your quick little crash course in speed ramping. I hope you guys found value in that. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss another one. Especially, oh, you got to love that. Especially for another Workflow Wednesday. And if you remember, like last time, 
we did edit to the beat. So like I said, edit to the beat along with speed ramp transitions. You guys are cruising. Anyways, have a good one guys. And I'll see you next time. Later.